Dressing up can make you look beautiful, but if you want to really dazzle them, sometimes all you need is just a little bit of bling. For Father's Day, I want to have a nice, beautiful, elegant dinner. So I want to show you how I totally blinged out my dining room table using pieces from totallydazzled.com. Now you know I am all about saving money, but having everything look beautiful in the process. So I was so delighted to find that Totally Dazzle had the most beautiful rhinestone accessories I had ever seen and at the best prices. Look at this one. This piece is less than a dollar. So since I'm working on my dining room table, I ordered six of these crystal napkin rings. Look how beautiful that is. And these are sold at just $1.25 each. TotallyDazzle.com also has mixed packs. It's an assortment of 10 pieces, different shapes and sizes. And I wanted to get this pack so that I could use it to make a centerpiece. So I ordered the mixed pack of silver with pearls and clear rhinestones. And the whole pack, just $15. So my shipment came really fast and wow, look at these gorgeous pieces. Whatever I make with this is gonna be really beautiful. And here are my gorgeous napkin rings. You know, everything is just so well made and just stunning. I'm so excited to work with these pieces. So let's start with my centerpiece. To make my centerpiece, I'm using a large glass bowl I got from Walmart for $3, a tall Pilsner beer glass, and a margarita glass that I got from Dollar Tree. Using Gorilla Glue Epoxy, I'm gluing together an upside down margarita glass, then a right side up beer glass, and then at the very top, I'm gluing the bowl right side up. So this is my base centerpiece. Now that it's dry, let's decorate it with the rhinestone pieces. In the mix pack, most of the large pieces are brooches, so it comes with a pin backing. So I think I'm going to take advantage of this and use ribbon to attach these pieces to the vase. I found this sparkling silver ribbon at Walmart for about $3 but I have seen something similar to this at Dollar Tree. So I'm alternating two large pieces and two medium sized pieces. And I'm sliding the ribbon through the back of the closed pin with the sparkly side facing front. Now I'm gonna push those pieces close together and make sure there's enough ribbon on each end so that I could tie those pieces to the bottom part of the tall glass. I'm tying a small bow and then I'm going to cut the ends pretty short. Now I'm gonna slide the large brooch over so that it's almost covering up the bow. And I really like the way that bow looks behind the brooch. So I think I'm going to put a bow behind each of these pieces. I cut 10 inch pieces of ribbon and I'm going to slide that right into the back end of each brooch. Tie a ribbon and cut the ends. And look how beautiful that is just from tying a few pieces on. Now right below the bow I'm going to use a little hot glue to attach ribbon to the mouth of the glass. So now I want to make this just a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to add two pieces of ribbon and cut it at an angle and then sort of loop it around the base piece just to make a nice little design with the ribbon. Now I'm going to slide one of the larger pieces, the pearl piece, into the ribbon and just sort of loop that around the center of the top bowl. 
and I'm going to center that right over where the two ribbons meet. And then hot glue the end of the ribbon towards the top of the bowl and the center on the side. And I'm going to do that on both sides, but leave some ribbon hanging over. And a large brooch on both sides of the bowl. I'm just going to loop the excess ribbon over onto the front and crisscross it and hot glue that in place. And I'm going to add a smaller piece on top of that ribbon. These smaller pieces have flat backs, so I'm going to hot glue this onto the ribbon. And I'm going to glue a small piece on both sides and cut the ribbon at an angle short. And as simple as that, for about $25, I have a very tall, beautiful, elegant, and fabulous centerpiece. Now since I'm having a formal dinner, I'm going to use fresh flowers for my arrangement. My hydrangeas are blooming really well in my garden, so I pick some flowers from my garden. My jasmine I cut from my trellis, and I cut other greenery to use in this display. I don't have a wet foam, so I'm just going to pour a bag of marbles in the bowl to have something to stick the stems in, then fill the bowl halfway up with water. So I decided to use subtle light colors, whites and greens and a little pink. I started with the hydrangeas and adding roses and the light colored flowers and then the greenery. And finally, I'm going to let my jasmine flow over the edges. Now let's bring this to the table. Perfect. I'm displaying this on a silver platter and I'm adding some roses around the tray. Also, I took two more margarita glasses, filled them with candles, rose petals, greenery, and dressed it up with the last two totally dazzling pieces of diamonds and pearls. And these beautiful napkin rings really make my whole place set in sparkle. My table setting was an easy and beautiful assembly, but since these pieces are so inexpensive, you can go crazy and create all kinds of beautiful projects. This will definitely be my go-to place for bling from now on. Click on the link below in the description box to see all the beautiful pieces at totallydazzled.com. Follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Snapchat at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV for daily home, food, and gardening tips.